Am I the asshole? For screwing over all the people who donated their time and money? The PTA has been planning a fundraiser for months to raise money for new cheerleader uniforms. The old uniforms are very outdated, and all the kids are excited about getting new ones, including mine. Early in the planning I agreed that my property could be used at no cost for the event, and that I would provide all the furnishing. Other people worked hard on buying making items to be sold at the fundraiser. Some people spent upwards of hundreds of hours and or dollars for the event. At a recent meeting, the football coach said the equipment was badly worn out and needed to be replaced ASAP. A vote was held, and the majority voted that this fundraiser would be for the football team instead of the cheerleaders. I was pissed. Football is always the top priority. I went above and beyond here specifically to help out the cheerleading team. My child and all their friends on the team got their hopes up only to be dashed. I told everyone my property would no longer be available for use, and they would need to find a new venue. People panicked and got very angry, including several people who voted against the change. They said my decision was equivalent to throwing all their hard work in the trash. I asked them how they thought the cheerleaders would feel. They said it was a vote, and I was acting like a dictator, that I can't overrule the will of the majority. I said they can do what they like, but not on my property. I know they won't be able to find a venue this late, especially not at an affordable price. I understand I screwed over my friends, burned bridges and am likely going to be kicked off the PTA. I just can't bring myself to help them. Am I a spiteful a hole? Not the asshole. I would make it clear that the use of your property and the furnishings were your donation to the cheerleading team. As the fundraiser is no longer for this same team, your donation is not applicable. Not the asshole. This was a bait switch. You agreed to having a fundraiser for the cheerleaders at your property, not the football team. Not the asshole one. You were doing what you were for the cheerleaders too. They are massively screwing over the cheerleaders three. This should never have gone for another vote. The perceived less important thing always gets screwed for. You were right that's exactly how the cheerleaders would feel five. Let them find another venue, you were doing this for the cheerleaders six. Good for you. Not the asshole. You agreed to host a fundraiser for the cheerleaders, not the football team. They changed the conditions, and they can live with the consequences. Nope, and good for you. You did all the work but the football players needed more was a disgraceful move by the coach, and you don't have to go along with it. Your property, your conditions. Not the asshole. Force the idiots to reverse their decision and give the money where it belongs. Not the asshole. You agreed to let them use your property for a fundraiser that would directly benefit school activities that your family is involved in. It is completely delusional of others to think that you would continue to host the fundraiser when the fundraiser was altered to no longer benefit school activities that your family is involved in. Not the asshole. They can hold the event at the school for free. Not the asshole. They should hold a separate event for the football team. It's crappy that football is placed above any other activity in school. Maybe they can have the fundraiser on the football field? Not the asshole, you intended to host an event for cheerleading and not football. Now that the event priorities have changed, your space is no longer available. If they can change the reason for the fundraiser, you can decide to back out of loaning your space. Not our time to go commando and do a private fundraiser because they're just gonna keep pushing the cheerleaders aside for the sports. It may look like an asshole move but it's not, the agreement was fundraising for cheerleaders on your property free of cost, PTA knowingly took and vote to destroy the hopes of a team in favor of another, that's bullying. It's your property, you can do as you please and no one has the right to judge you. Edit not the asshole. Not the asshole it's your house and you can rescind the invitation if that's what you want to do. Not the asshole. It's like they did a bait and switch on the cheerleaders including your kid. Nothing wrong with you changing your mind since someone else changed their mind and moved football in from to the previously planned fundraiser for the cheerleaders. 
not the asshole. Anyone who promised support has a right to withdraw that support for whatever reason. And I don't see how it's true at all that anyone's work was thrown in the trash. All they have to do is find another venue, as you said, or find another way to sell the crafts they made, such as online. Also, whoever sells anything has the right to do whatever they want with the money, as long as they don't perpetrate any fraud on the buyer. Not the asshole you organized for a cheerleader fundraiser. The football team can do their own fundraiser. It was a bait and switch and these are the consequences for shady adults. Not the asshole but if bridges are burned and you are kicked off anyway, I'd be going nuclear with notifying the community of this shitty vote and not to support the fundraiser. Let the football team wash fucking cars. Not the asshole. I do not understand why more people who contributed to the cheerleaders did not stand up with you over the bait switch. Changing the purpose of a fundraiser, after months of planning, is abhorrent. Not the asshole. They changed the agreement, you changed your contribution. They don't have the right to volunteer your property. Not the asshole but if you really want to be petty say you will allow it for a hefty sum and donate that to the cheerleaders. Not the asshole and thank you for standing up to this. It would be better if you held an event the same day for the cheerleaders and families on your property. A picnic or something. The bridge doesn't have to be burned. Not the asshole. You agreed to use your property and furnishings to raise money for cheerleader uniforms. They changed the fundraiser to something you did not agree to. To me, they broke a contract, which means you're no longer bound to your obligation. They can use your property if they pay rent. Donate rent to cheerleaders. Not the asshole you can't change the rules in the middle of the game, and they did. It's misrepresentation at best, fraud at worst. You do well to distance yourself from all if it. They faffo sucks to be them. They can deal with the consequences of your actions. You offered your property with the understanding it was to benefit the cheerleaders it now is now and you no longer want to offer your property. 100 your decision and it doesn't make you an a hole to withdraw the offer. Not the asshole. You agreed to use your property as a venue for a cheerleaders fundraiser, not football. If everything is subject to change, in this instance the actual fundraiser, then so can the venue Maressa because it's your property and it's your decision. Not the asshole it is do gross how much athletics and especially footballs gets placed above all at schools. You never agreed to hosting a football fundraiser. Not the asshole. Your house can still be used for the cheerleaders drive. It won't be used for the football drive. If they've changed the event, they've cancelled the contract, not you. It was a vote. And it is your private property. Though I'd be sure that you should consider, how it will affect your child. Football cities sometimes bully kids. Not the asshole.